In 2018, Bandai Namco published a remastered version of the first Dark Souls game, and while doing so, they also removed the original PC release from the Steam store. When it comes to casual gaming, most players will be okay playing the remaster, since there aren't many differences between versions aside from visuals, frame rate, and some quality of life improvements. When it comes to speedrunning, however, these versions are two completely different games, with completely different glitches and tech available, which means completely different runs and completely separated leaderboards. And so, people who want to run the original version, known as Prepare to Die Edition, or PTDE for short, and for good reason, since it is much better speed game than the remaster, they are faced with one question. How do I get it if I cannot buy it? Unfortunately, the only answer to that question is through piracy, unless you want to try your luck buying some overpriced key online, which will likely be also fraudulent. Fortunately, though, pirating this game is extremely simple, and you can even run it through Steam and use all the speedrunning related tools with it as if you were playing the real thing. Because technically, you are. Let me explain. The way this crack works is it tricks Steam into thinking you're running a free-to-play game called Space War when in reality you're running Dark Souls. Here I have the cracked version of the game on the left and the legit copy that I own on Steam on the right. As you can see, the content of both folders is exactly the same except for this file right here and this Steam API which is, in the case of the crack, it's modified to do the trick to trick Steam into thinking that it's running a different game. All the other files, the files that are actually the game, are exactly the same. They are completely vanilla, including the exe. The exe is the exact same. I just copied my legit files into here and just dropped the crack. And as you can see, when I open the game, it opens like normal and I can play it. But if I go to Steam, you can see that it's running this Space War game here and not Dark Souls. Dark Souls is not being played right now. Instead, it's running the Space War thing. And if I close the game, you will see that it closes Dark Souls and it stops running. And so all you need to do is get the original unmodified game files, drop these two cracked files in there, and then launch the game, and it will work. Note, however, that when you do this, the game runs through Steam. So you need to have Steam open, otherwise it will not launch. This installation, this cracked installation, is technically a Steam game and you need to run it through the launcher in order for it to work. With all the explaining done, you will find in the description of the video two links, one to a drive folder and one to a mega folder. Both of these are the exact same thing. I just uploaded the same thing to both sides in order to have redundancy and safety. From there, you download the Dark Souls Prepare to Die Edition.zip file. That will be this whole folder exactly as you see here and you extract it wherever you want and you can launch the game from there. Worth noting too that I uploaded the cracked files separately in case, I don't know, in case you want to get the game files from somewhere else and you just need the cracked files or in case you accidentally remove them or your maybe your antivirus detects them and, and deletes them automatically and you don't want to download the entire thing again then you can also download the cracked files. but you they are already in here you don't need to download both to begin with worth noting too that in this folder i also included this dll file this is not one of the original game files it's just a file that we use for speedrunning because it uses it removes the logos that show up when you go into the main menu and it also makes the game launch considerably faster so it is very recommended to have it installed even if you don't speedrun, but especially if you are going to do speedruns, it's very recommended to have this DLL, so I just included it from default. Keep in mind, by the way, that by using this method, you're actually running the game as Space War, so any settings that you want to tinker with, including uh, controller configurations and button remaps, which you will need to do for certain things in speedruns, and I'll show you how in a different video, you will need to do them here. Also, make sure when you go into your Space War controller layout that you have the generic gamepad layout selected and not the official layout for Space War because this one doesn't have any bindings on the keys or anything like that. So if you have, when you go in here, you see official layout for Space War, official configuration, uh, you won't be able to use your 
your controller with the game. You will need to go in here, go to templates, and select the the normal gamepad. This will have the standard ABXY buttons, the standard joysticks, standard everything. Click on apply layout, and then you'll be able to play.